Under agency principles, an agent acts on a principal's behalf, and the agent's actions bind the principal. But can the principal limit an agent's authority? And what happens if the agent exceeds this authority? The Second Circuit addressed these questions in Highland Capital Management v. Schneider. Leonard Schneider and his children sold two businesses to McNaughton Apparel Group for $69 million in promissory notes. Looking to sell the notes, the Schneiders engaged Glenn Roke as their agent. Roke contacted RBC Dominion Securities Corporation as a potential purchaser. RBC planned to resell the notes at a markup and received a bid from Highland Capital Management. Before engaging in negotiations, Roke informed RBC that he couldn't consummate any transaction without the Schneider's approval. Throughout their negotiations via recorded telephone calls, Roke repeatedly reminded RBC that he couldn't finalize terms without the Schneider's consent. Finally, after weeks of negotiations, Roke told RBC he believed the deal could be done the next day at 51% of the note's value. However, unbeknownst to Roke, the Schneiders learned about a possible acquisition of McNaughton that would result in full payment of the notes. During a recorded call the following day, RBC pressured Roke to conclude the deal, but Roke maintained that he couldn't finalize terms without the Schneiders' approval. However, during an unrecorded call 10 minutes later, Roke allegedly agreed to sell the notes at 51% and said he would get the lawyers to confirm and move on to a written contract. The Schneiders decided not to sell and received full payment for the notes when McNaughton was acquired. RBC and Highland, as a third-party beneficiary, filed suit against the Schneiders for breach of contract. The Schneiders responded that there was no contract because Roke had neither actual nor apparent authority to make the alleged contract. Following a jury trial, the district court entered judgment against the Schneiders. The Schneiders moved for judgment as a matter of law or a new trial. The court denied the Schneiders' motion. The Schneiders appealed to the Second Circuit.